box? What happened yesterday? I mean, well, last night the judge just missed the jurors at around 9.30 at night after dinner said go home, get some rest, because the jury still has no verdict. And so what was a pretty speedy, more speedy of an anticipated trial, really, is, is now trudging into a third day of deliberations, McGraw. So uh, yesterday when you talked to us, they asked for uh, some reading of some different testimony and looking back at some of the transcripts. Was there anything like that yesterday? Yeah, there was. So at this point, the jury has now asked a total of four questions. The first two that we talked about yesterday were about Bill Cosby's deposition back in 2005. That's where he admits that he gave Andrea Constant pills and engaged sexually with her. But he says all of that was consensual and that the pills were just some Benadryl tablets. Uh, she, of course, contests that. That's the reason we're having the trial. But that was the first two questions. Then they asked about the charges and some of the wording of the charges. They wanted uh, a judge to explain to them more what he meant by uh, – or what the charge meant uh, giving her a drug without her consent. But the judge said, I'm not supposed to interpret the law. That's up to you, the jury. So he really didn't give them any help there. And then the fourth question was about – not, not the story of Cosby, but the story of Constance. They, they wanted to hear back the testimony from the cop that took her initial police report because a few days later she ended up changing some of the details in that report. So you're beginning to wonder if perhaps some of these jurors, at least, are taking issue not just with Cosby's story but with, her, but with his accusers as well. So uh, what's the thought around the uh, courthouse? How long before a hung jury? How long before... Uh, they think they'll come back w with a verdict one way or the other. Yeah, well, it was difficult to get a read on the jurors last night when they entered the courtroom. Some mm. looked angry, some looked annoyed. <laughs> they all looked frustrated in one sense, but you couldn't tell if people were falling into large camps or small camps, if there's just one holdout, that kind of a thing. You have to imagine that this can't, won't go on much longer, that if the jury comes out and tells the judge that you know we're hopelessly deadlocked, he'll say, I want you to go back in, give it your best shot, but eventually... Uh, the defense in particular will be saying that, you know, this is going to be a mistrial and the judge will have to rule uh, for a mistrial if we don't get a verdict at some point. We heard, uh, I guess it was your top of the hour report where uh, there were fans cheering for Bill Cosby as he left the courthouse. How many fans are we talking about? I mean, we're talking about a, a dozen or so, maybe 20 tops. But these are people that waited until 930 when Cosby finally left. He was smiling and waving at one point in a kind of a bizarre moment. He gave that, hey, 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 that Fat Albert impression uh, fr from so many years ago. So he seemed to be in a good mood. And, and I think that the feeling around the courthouse here is that a mistrial, a hung jury, would very much be a win for the defense, considering it's taken two years to get this long. There's questions about whether the, the DA here would even bring another case if it came to that. Brad Melke, we'll check back with you when and if the jury comes back. Thanks for checking in, Brad. Thank you. ABC News correspondent from Norristown, Pennsylvania. How about Cosby saying, hey, 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 as he's leaving the what? courthouse?